Hey, it's me, C, and welcome back to my channel. Now today, we are out with the old and in with the new. Now, I am not an iPhone hype beast. I am not a super techie person. I do not rush and get the new, new phone, the new, new gadget. Um, I do love gadgets, but I'm not super pressed because, you know, as we all know with iPhones, they, they're all pretty much the same. Now, I felt very inclined very very inclined to go ahead and grab this this is the iphone 11 pro max i don't the name is long but that's what it is and i got it now when i tell you i am not a phone hype beast at all i'm not like literally this is a iphone 7 plus yes i said 7 plus because when the 8 came out, it was kind of like, it's the same thing as the 7 Plus that I already have. Like, I have portrait mode, and, you know, it's cute, it's pink, like, it does everything I need. My pictures are a bomb. I don't need the 8. Like, what was the difference between the 7 Plus and the 8 Plus or whatever? Like, there really was none, so I kept it. Especially, you know how Apple, your phone updates all the time anyway, so there really was no difference. So then... When the 10 went ahead and came out, the 10 and the 10, whatever it was called, Pro Max, XR, Double, whatever, Z, I don't know. When that came out, I wasn't impressed because I really fell in love with my home button. I was not trying to go and not have a home button. I just, I love it. I don't know. And like I said, my phone, it was great. My camera was great. Like, and that's my main thing when it comes to phones. Like, I need a bomb camera. So I was happy with them. Like, I don't need the 10 XW, whatever it's called, and whatever. I was over it. But, baby, when they dropped this 11 Pro Max, I know that they made that for me. And the reason why I got the 11 Pro Max instead of the 11 Pro is because, based on my research and calculations, the 11 Pro and the 10X, whatever it's called, is pretty much the same phone, essentially. Like, it's really not that much different, which is why they're selling it for so cheap, period. So I figured you're either going to go hard or go home. So I went hard. Now, I... Literally, I ordered it on Monday. It came on Wednesday. It is now Thursday, and I am now going to set up my phone. <sighs> I really am going to miss my 7 Plus. I'm not getting rid of it, of course. I'm going to keep it and everything. But I don't know. I just, I, I fell in love with this phone. Like, I probably would have never got a new phone if this would have never came out. And and that's just that and the reason why it took me so long to just go ahead and set it up is because I'm one of those people I need a case on my phone I am not trying to have a cracked screen I just have never I've never been that girl I've had this phone since it came out no cracked screen looks good as new I keep my phone clean and you know what I'm saying like I, I can't walk around with no no case so I had to grab a case before I dove deep into this new phone so my um, iPhone 7 Plus is 128 gigs, and right now I have about 29.76 available. So I definitely needed that space. So when it came to deciding what um, gig I was going to get, I just had to go with the 256 because a 64 gig is nowhere near close to what I need. Um, so yeah. Now, there's a couple main things as to why I got this phone. Main thing meaning the camera. But before I get into that, they say that the battery is like super good. Like it charges in like 30 minutes or 40 minutes, they say, and it lasts way longer than like any iPhone battery life. So that's great. I'm excited about that. 
I got the phone in gold. If they had a rose gold option, I would have chosen that, but they didn't. So I went with gold and it's not a biggie. Um, it's like a frosty matte finish. It feels really nice and luxurious in your hands. The screen is six and a half inches and it really feels like the same size as my 7 Plus, but it does feel heavier. I guess maybe whatever material this is made of is a little different, but they are about the same size. In the box, of course, it comes with headphones and a charger. The headphones I really don't need because I have AirPods, but of course, extra set of headphones are always good to have. The first thing that I did notice is that this charger port is way, 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 way bigger than the original box that we uh, would get with our iPhone charger. And also it no longer has that USB connect. It's like an iPhone plug on both sides. Like, I don't know. So I guess we'll see what that's about. Now on to the reason that I got this phone, the three lens camera. So the camera is like ultra wide, wide and telephoto. Oh my God, like I am so excited. And the camera also shoots in 4K. So for if you're a YouTuber and you don't have a camera, it's pretty much the same quality, if not better than some uh, cameras, to be honest with you. The camera has night mode, which is awesome. If you're out and about at nighttime and you want to shoot something, you know, like I just feel like... <sighs> who doesn't want night mode like it just sounds cool night mode like what the heck and now on the front camera um well you guys already had um portrait mode on the front camera but now you can like adjust the blur in portrait mode on the front and the back camera so that's really really cool as well because sometimes when you take your know, pictures in portrait mode the blur is like a little off so that's cool that you can adjust it now the blur and the light and you can also do slow-mo on the front camera. Now, I know some people don't really care about that because it's like, what am I using slow-mo for on my front camera? You're using it for this. You know what I'm saying? Like, us girls, we do that. Like, so we need that. But like I said, I'm no techie. I don't really know the real tea about these phones. I just know what I know, and if you want more information on that, you can go look it up. So we are going to go ahead and start transferring, um, I guess, our stuff on here. So let me make sure my phone is backed up. Okay, so it looks like my phone was backed up around midnight last night. So I'm just going to back it up just in case so I don't, you know, mess with anything. So while I was doing that, we are going to go ahead and turn on this phone for the very first time. And here we go. It says hello. <laughs> Hi. Hola. Okay, so it says swipe up to begin. Let's swipe up. Pick in my language. I speak English. Okay. Apps and data. Choose how you want to transfer apps and data to this iPhone. All right. Let's restore from iCloud backup. Apple ID. Hopefully I remember my password. Y'all remember back in the day when you had to go into the store and spend hours upon hours transferring your account information, getting your contacts switched over. And then at the end of the day, when you go home, all your contacts not even there. So thank you, Apple, for fixing and upgrading. I haven't set up a new iPhone in so long. I don't have the patience for this. It's taking too long. All right, so I think we're ready now. I think it's done being updated and everything. Welcome to iPhone. Okay, so while my apps are still downloading and I'm waiting for my service to transfer over, we are gonna check out the camera because that's what we're here for. Okay, okay. Okay, let me hold it this way. Whoa. So cool. Okay, let's try slow-mo.
Okay, now let's look at the portrait mode. Okay, so I see. Whoa. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, so I guess here's how you adjust the depth and everything. Mm, cool. Okay, so my makeup room is really dirty right now. And once I clean it, we will have a room tour. Cool. But this right here is the ultra wide, I guess you would say. Hi, ultra wide. And this is wide. And then this is telephoto. What the heck? So cool. Like, wow. I'm gagging. Okay, so I know you guys can't see me at all, but I'm about to do a video in the dark to see how this whole night mode situation works. Let's see. So it does have the flash on right now, but look how clear that is, even with the flash. So with the flash off, the night mode wasn't that great because there was no light at all in the room, but it still picked up something. But with the flash on, oh my God, like... <laughs> <laughs> you don't even understand. Pictures about to be popping. But I am going to go ahead and just keep playing with the phone, keep setting it up and everything. And I will come back to you guys with an update on what I really think about this phone compared to the love of my life, my iPhone 7 Plus, which I will never get rid of. Ever, ever, ever get rid of. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it because, like I said, it's in great condition. I might just use it as, like, I don't know, something, whatever. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for checking out my new iPhone 11 Pro Max. And if you got one, comment down below and let me know what you thought of your phone and the different things that you've learned about it so far. Because I feel like it's going to take me a while to really get adjusted to this and kind of learn the phone. So if you have any tips, tricks, or help, comment down below and let your girl know. I'll see you in the next video.